about 20 minutes back. Okay. And it's only going to go 10 miles an hour because that's all we're allowed to do for the demonstration. It's a demonstration of a modern, fully electric, battery-operated streetcar capable of operating for 20 hours without recharging and qualified as a candidate for operations on our rail line when improvements are made to permit this travel between Watsonville and Santa Cruz. Welcome aboard. Gracias para para venir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I was so excited about this, but we all tried to get tickets and then we couldn't. I know. And I looked down here and then I saw that more opened up and I was so stoked. As one of the most affordable options to us, streetcars are especially attractive because of level boarding, micro stations, easy coupling, and low operation costs. What you're riding in is all American made and all American designed and built right here in California. So the MRV3 is a unique vehicle. You are riding in the most efficient passenger tram in the world right now. This is the only vehicle in the world that is electric, runs on rails, and requires no off-board power. Okay, it's the only vehicle in the world that can operate for 20 hours of continuous service without having to acquire power from off-board of the vehicle. No emissions whatsoever if we charge the batteries and create the hydrogen from renewable energy sources like solar or wind or geothermal or hydroelectric or whatever is available to us, then there is no greenhouse gases produced in the entire cycle of energy for the vehicles, which means this is a carbon neutral transportation system. On a railway like, like this, we use small cars so that you're not deadheading empty seats all day long. If you have a period of time during the day called a peak hour where you have most of your passengers, these cars can be coupled together to form 300 passenger streetcars. This particular streetcar is capable of 50 miles per hour. Rio has a rich history in the Paro Valley. Next month on November 26th, We'll be celebrating 150 years of the Southern Pacific connection to Pahala. Here in this county, transportation accounts for over 60% of our local greenhouse gas emissions. Protecting this beautiful valley and meeting our environmental goals is going to depend on transforming the way we get around. Passion to rail service is not only a way to get around the bay without traffic, it's the most energy efficient form of mass transportation. In fishers, snowy egrets, and over 47 different bird species that call this area home. California has lost over 90% of its wetlands to development. Oh, wow. The Watsonville Sloughs cover about 800 acres and are one of the largest remaining freshwater marshlands in the state's coastal zone. It's in the middle, but this is free to drive in. Yeah, you can drive into it with a patrol Where the road used There's to be. There's an osprey nest yeah. right there yeah. on the top of the pole. And right. every year they raise the uh, yeah. family. It's pretty yeah. cool. It's a uh, jail farm. It's right on the other side of that. Yeah, and they're out. I know, right? But like right now, with the very So I'll say for a point of orientation, so not far down from here is San Andreas Road. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it takes us down to La Selva Beach. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It's worth thinking, like, it would not be much longer for us to get to Aptos, Capitola, Santa Cruz. Can you imagine if you keep going, or if your commute every morning was to, to look over the slough, head over? Opportunity, health, quality of life, and a large thing to find by racing plants. With a more affordable and easily accessible transportation system, we can make inroads for at least injustices.
from the RTC website. It is one example of what light rail transit could be in the county. You can see uh, we are here right now in downtown Watsonville. The route would go all the way up to the west side of Santa Cruz. Travel time would be about 40 minutes, which is pretty fabulous. That's way faster than the 90 minutes it takes during traffic. And you don't even have to be driving. You can read a book, you can check your email, you can get things done. Um, it'll be zero emission, right? All of those good things, better access for students and people who can't drive. You need to be able to get back and forth easily and safely and cleanly. 